Hey guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial from the 3D Tutor. So this time we're going to be looking at creating a spring or a twist type object. Had a lot of requests um, in the past about making springs in the easiest way possible. Um, and you know there are ways you can make it using cylinder and using uh, you know edit poly and all that kind of stuff to manipulate it. But there is a very easy way. So the way that you can do it the quickest way possible which can be used for springs uh, for cars and, and other mechanical objects or if you want to do an organic object such as vines that twist around trees and that kind of thing then you want to go into the create tab which is just here and then go into geometry ensure you're in that ge geometry heading just there and in this drop down where it says standard primitives you want to click on that and go down to dynamic objects once you're in dynamic objects just simply click onto spring in your perspective view as I find it easiest to work in here for creating a spring you're going to click and drag and straight away you can see it looks like a ring not really much to it right now a tube or a ring but as soon as you release that mouse button and then push the mouse up you're going to see that it starts to create that spring type effect so I'm going to make this spring quite tall to start with but there's not many, you know, very many twists to it, not many coils to it. So you can adjust all that stuff as well. Also, the amount of polys could be a concern if you want to, if you're, you know, working to a budget and you don't want to be making anything too high poly if it's going to be a small object. So there's a number of things that you can change here on the right panel just here. Within spring, you can change the height of the spring quite easily. So you don't definitely do not want to be going into scale and scaling this down and up, else you will deform it in ways that it shouldn't be deformed. So make sure you adjust the height because it won't change the actual um, geometry of the actual circular shape like that of the cylinder. It will you know, remain kind of rounded, but it will just simply change the height. Diameter is the diameter of the actual gap in the spring. So as I reduce that down, you can make it very thin. So this is where it can look kind of like a vine and all that you know, kind of stuff. So I'm going to actually increase that a little bit. And you can increase the turns as well. Now this is what controls how many twists there are in the spring. So you can really crank this up. But don't forget the more turns equals the more polys. As you can see there's more kind of um, rings going around. So if we stop around there. You can also change the segments as well. So as you can see here if I reduce the segments all the way down. Three is the minimum. You've got a really you know odd kind of effect. Now this could work for you if this is what you want to create, but you might want to turn it up a little bit just to add some more geometry to round that off. You know, if you, if you don't have a poly limit at all, then obviously you'd want to push this up quite high so it's quite rounded. And again, there are a few other options down here. Diameter of the actual spring itself. So how thick is the spring? How thick do you want the spring? You can control that by doing that. And again, here we've got the amount of sides. So if we reduce that, it's still very circular in terms of the actual spring shape. But if you look closely, you can see that the actual um, the spring is now made up of three sides. Obviously, you can increase that again and really make it rounded if you're not working to a poly count. But if you are, then you might want to crank that down a little bit. Okay, um, and that's basically a sum up of the spring tool. Um, if you want to preview your model without these edges, just to see what it would look like in, um, you know, without the edges, make it look cleaner, you can just press the F4 key on the keyboard, which will toggle the uh, wireframe on and off. And you can see there it looks pretty nice indeed. So hopefully, guys, this t tutorial helped you out on creating a spring. Um, and please do make sure that you subscribe, comment and like my videos guys because it is very much appreciated. It shows, shows me that you appreciate what I'm doing and it will motivate me to create a ton more content which I have lined up as well. So thanks for watching once again guys and I will catch you all in the next video.